Welcome to Chase BC. I'm Lori and I want to give you a little tour of my camper van. I've made a lot of changes in the two years since she adopted me and I'm going to share some of the perks and the problems that I've had over the last couple of years. First, a tour of the inside of the van. You may or may not know I am right now literally sleeping in my bed. And I love it because when I lie down back here, I am totally hidden so you can't see in. And of course, when I go to sleep, see how dark it is? And there's still two blinds that are open. Okay, well, this is the other side of Chase BC Beach. You don't wanna see that anymore. Then these are my beautiful curtains. Close that. They're not only privacy, but they're also thermal insulated. So they're super, super thick. And there's a discernible difference. When I have these closed at night and it's freezing out and I open them, it is cold out there and warm in here. Because of course I have the furnace. First, we'll finish with the blinds. So I close those up and do a little pin so it's extra secure. Close this. See, it's quite dark in here for broad daylight with all the blinds and everything shut. Very private. Then if we want light again, which of course we do for the purposes of a video. Look at that, Chase BC. The other cool thing is I can unzip this and then I have a screen, which means that I can have this all down and have it screened and open for airflow. This is a big piece of insulation that I've slid down all the way to the bottom of the van floor. You may have seen that I have insulation over there as well, down to the left of the It horse. works a little bit, but I'm not sure it works too this well. This is my little... Uh, book nook. I've got a ton of books back here. It's just some spare storage for some uh, bathroom supplies. And my paints are in there which I never use. More books. And down there I don't know if you can tell but then there's some extra there's a lot of storage. I can reach under there for my apples, my oranges, and my pot. First thing you have to do is take away all the pillows and the computer stuff without knocking everything over. Then you just hop back here and you lift up the mattress, which actually isn't just a mattress. It's actually the cushion that is stored up here normally. And it's good exercise to even push it up, but I couldn't hold it up while getting stuff in the back. All you do is you grab your trusty handy dandy snow remover, your snow brush, unless you're unfortunate enough to live in Florida, and you go like, voila! And then you can access the back. I'll show you. Oh, it's a little dark. Let me get a light. See, now it's like a real cellar. So this, I have some clothes in extra food in my box, extra food over there, extra clothes for summer if it ever comes. It's only April. That's my pop-up tent. Oh my gosh, I have lots and lots of food. Extra food. Oh yeah, which reminds me, I need to grab those shreddies. And then here's a shower spray, battery powered, which I've never used. And of course my hoses. And then of course in here, you guessed it, extra food. Let me grab the Shreddies. I want those. And also there's more storage back here, which you can access when the shelf is down. It's just that I don't have it. You can't really see because it's dark. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see down there. But there, it goes really deep. And then I have um, some, that's my bike carrier and some, that's not food, that's clothes. And as you can see, this holds it up really quite easily. Isn't that great? And then all you have to do to bring it down is, you know, do the opposite. 
Always do a few presses first because it doesn't hurt to build up your arm strength. And that's what the bed looks like when it's back together. Easy peasy. So down there, I've got a nice big box of wine. I also have my um, vacuum. I have a little vacuum cleaner back there. This is my uh, shower bag. So every time I go into a community center and go to the Aquafit classes or whatever. Swimsuit, my super handy yeah. towel, and my flip floss, and shampoo, and stuff in there. So that is always ready to go. This is dirty clothes. Oh, there's the diapers. That is something that I've got to talk about in a few minutes. Here's my handy dandy craft kit. Music, which unfortunately I haven't been playing because it's too cold. And here's a super duper handy trick that I learned from from Angela, who also has a Tofino, she taught us this in Death Valley, is all these pillowcases are filled with clothes. And it also acts as insulation barrier back there. These are my, this is my closet essentially. Jeans are all in there. And of course up here, which if you look from under here, there's a ton of room still that I just don't even use because I don't have enough clothes. My socks, undies, and jog bras. This is super handy. This is my heating pad. So when it gets cold, so I don't want to turn on the furnace all the time because I don't need it all hot. But I just use the heating pad and warm up my cold little feet. I can turn up the heat to as high as I want. And I just hit that button. It's a Truma furnace. Got two blowers, one there and one there. And it just cranks out the of heat. These are my lights, which I usually have on when I'm filming. I don't need the porch on, that's outside. And then this shows my battery level. So I've got 92% right now and I'm only drawing a couple, I'm only losing a couple of amps because the fridge is on. And there's only 0.7 amps of sun, now 0.8 of sun. It's coming in through the solar panels and that of course is feeding the battery slowly. I don't have any water in my fresh tank because it's freezing every single night. So if there was water in there, it would freeze the lines and that would cause damage, which is one of the problems I have now, which I'll show you when we go outside. And this here, LPG, is a liquid propane gas, which uh, feeds the Truma furnace, which uh, is super efficient and cheap to use. It's my little USB light there so that is another thing i like to have on the only thing i don't like about this particular one is that it automatically starts at the flashing which i don't like this is my bathroom and that's all my toiletries and stuff like that my day timer my journals and Toilet paper. Toilet. This is my bathroom. I prefer to go, you know, in libraries or community centers, wherever I am. But at night, if I really have to go, it's just an adult diaper. And it's actually cut in half. Can you believe it? It's huge, those diapers. And I also have something called poo powder and pee powder, which I sprinkle. And what it's supposed to do is really absorb the odor and make it more compostable so that it breaks down. So it's not like raw sewage that you're... Um, pouring in. One more storage space. Those are my t-shirts. See how amazing it is? How much stuff you can put in a van? I was talking to a friend the other day and I told her we were talking about hoarding and you know just accumulating too much stuff and I said even in this tiny van I still have stuff that I never use and that I should get rid of. And of course my flute which I've been keeping just right there because it's tiny and I love playing it. It's just too cold to play and it freezes my fingers and my lips. The other thing, of course, is my painting. I don't do that exercise equipment. This is my office, a laptop and all my stuff. Oh, look it. I didn't even notice that he was carrying antlers on his back. So what I have behind here, oh, laundry this day. This is another thing I never use. This is a roller to roll out my hip because I have bursitis. And of course I never use that. This, I use it all the time. I love my library. 
camp stove. Because even though I have the convection oven here, yeah. the convection oven takes a lot of battery. And if I'm going to stay in a place for two or three days, I'm going to drain down my battery, even if I drive and even if the sun is there shining. This propane stove, the pot is easier to use because it's a different pot than what goes on the convection. It also heats up the inside of the van a little bit. So that means that I get some extra warmth inside of so here. Right now you can see it's only 15 degrees inside the van. So that's actually pretty chilly. If I had this on, it would raise it by almost two degrees. So that's one of my favorite purchases. I love this propane stove. And down there is where I keep my uh, vinegar spray. Cause since I don't do a lot of cooking, I basically only um, spray out my plate and my bowl when I'm done eating my carrots. <laughs> this is the, um, the pot that I use for my convection, or I mean my that propane tank and it's lighter and really easy to pour from the convection stove has to have its own pot it's much heavier and it's not as easy to pour from so i actually don't really like using this Look at all that food i eat holy moly here's something i can't wait i want to go to a potluck yeah i got it in arizona it's cactus tender cactus and i don't really want to open the whole jar and have it by myself so i'm really hoping that somebody invites me to a potluck and that's my fridge it's actually really big i've taken out the freezer so that uh, it can just be all fridge Now moving on to the front, into the cab area. Here's another thing I never, ever, ever use is the dash cam. Which means that this here, which is actually quite handy, you plug this in and then that gives me all these extra ports, which means that I could have both the dash cam as well as my Garmin plugged in because I only have one um, thing, DC or whatever. Since I never use my dash cam, then this is all extra, which I should probably just take out, but then that means I should probably take off my dash cam. I always think one day I'm gonna need it. It's just but one it's of those things that I keep and I think maybe one day it'll come in handy and I'll probably never use it again. I love having the puzzle pieces down there because that way when the dirt and mud comes in, it dries and I can just flick it outside. I got this fishing vest. I'll show you the other side first. Under all my jackets. Look at all the clothes I have. So this is a fishing vest that I got in New Brunswick. I just cut the sides and then put it over. Some more gum, that helps me think. For me, the hardest thing about owning a 2021 Tofino camper van is the pop top roof. I love sleeping up there, but getting it open and closed is tough. First thing to remember is that this door always has to be open in order for the air to allow the pop top to go up. So there's no air resistance. Technically, it's really easy. Practically, if you're little, it's hard. It's actually a lot of fun too. So when it's hot like it is today, I see it's about 26 degrees in here right now. So this should be easy to open. But sometimes the way things should be isn't always the way things are. So you just push. Come on, Ruby. There we go. Come on, take her there. And then the pop top is now open. Voila. My favorite thing is when I go like this. It helps to be like a monkey. We've got light. And then I just go like that and like that. Getting it down is a whole different story. To bring her down, what I have to do, get ready. I gotta go back up here. Whew. And just go like this, there. Now to get her down, put on my gloves. I find that it's, isn't easy for me to pull down. It'll be easier now because it's hot. When it's cold, it's really hard. And if there's wind resistance, if the wind is blowing in the wrong direction, it's even harder. The gloves help, but I don't think it'll be too hard right now, but we'll see. This is a good way to stay fit. I'm 50, I've never been this fit, and it's just gonna get better and better. So what I do is I go like this, and I use my whole body weight, and I swing like a monkey. And I just go, Whoa. 
And then usually I have to swing woo, really hard. Come on, Ruby. Okay. And then you get it to about this point and I hold it. Okay, stay. Okay. Then you gotta make sure that this is all rolled in. Well, it's actually, it doesn't have to be quite rolled in. It just has to be pulled in. See, I'm still learning. It's been only a week. There, and like this, and then just pull her all the way down. Woo! There we go. Pop top is down. And then you roll it up. Put this under. Secure these guys. Woo! See, it really is a good way to stay fit. Okay, and Ruby's done. Let's turn off the lights and go outside and see some of the problems I've been having on the outside of the van. Oh yeah, this is Bobby. I haven't really had many problems at all, except This is where we fill up the propane and I've lost this cap. It's fallen off. And so then the propane guy just dug one up out of his garage somewhere and gave it to me. Other problem. See, look at that. That's my gray tank. And all I use it for, that's connected to the sink. And I just use it to brush my teeth and, you know, rinse out a few um, bowl. And there's a leak. I tried to duct tape it, but obviously that's not working. I've got to get it fixed. It's just a little drip. And I have RV antifreeze in it so that it doesn't freeze the water line. So luckily, it's not leaking up there. It's just down towards the bottom. So one, of the, one of these screws is leaking. So anyway, that's something I gotta get dealt with. Oh yeah, and then the cap on it. This on the cap always falls off. I've already replaced it twice and Ruby just can't keep her clothes on. So I decided uh, no cap for her. And there's where I sleep at night. It's a very comfy bed. It's perfect for a woman five feet tall. There we go. That's the update. This is Chase Beef Sea in mid-April. It's freezing out here. It's like seven degrees or something. I hope it's warmer where you are. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Mwah!